Hey everybody, it's Catherine, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this sandwich, so let's get started. To make the bread, start out with some white clay. I am just using white by Primo, and I'd recommend getting as hard of a clay as you can. This isn't the best for bread, so I'd recommend just finding a very hard clay. And so you want to roll it into a sphere, and then using your fingers in a rolling pin, shape it into a square. So sort of like a loaf shape. And then you can use your fingers to smooth out any creases. So to make the crust on the outside, I will be shading it using some chalk pastels, and I will be using this dark tan color. I will be applying this with a paintbrush, and to help cake it on there, because you want a very thick coating of it, you can use an X-Acto knife to scrape some off. Using my blade, I will be cutting the slices off of the loaf of bread, and you want to cut the two outside slices off. Those will just be scrap clay, and then the inside slices are what you will use for the actual slices of bread. And try to cut them as even as possible, which is kind of hard. I did mess up the first time, and so just keep doing it until you're happy with the thickness of your bread. And then you can use a rolling pin and your fingers to perfect the shape. And I am also going to be using a silicone tool that I had to add a little more detail to the slices of bread. Using a needle tool, I will be texturing the bread, and you want to dig as little as possible, just scraping the top so that it looks like breadcrumbs or air pockets. And now you can use a blade to lift the pieces of bread off of their surface so that they do not get squished. To create the turkey, I will be using Ecker by Primo, but you can use whatever tan clay you would like. And you want to take pieces of that off and create some uneven shapes, and then lay those on your mat, and use a toothbrush to texture it. If you would like, you can also shade them with chalk pastels, but I decided not to. To create the cheese, I'll be using some yellow clay from my yellow scrap bag, but you can use whatever color of yellow clay you would like. Then you just want to lay that on your surface and roll it out with a rolling pin. Then you want to take a blade and cut a square out. And you can also use your fingers to stretch it out to make it a little more realistic. To create the lettuce, I'll just be taking some green clay from my green scrap bag. And then what you want to do is you want to lay it on your surface and roll it out with a rolling pin to a nice thickness, and then you want to take a ball tool and start texturing that, and you can use the ball tool to also tear away pieces, and I did get this idea from Tony Ellison. This is optional, but I'll be adding some tomatoes and some cucumbers from some canes that I have made from various tutorials on YouTube, and I'll just be slicing those off using my X-Acto knife. And now it is time to construct the sandwich, so you can attach the pieces using Fimo Deco Gel or Liquid Sculpey. Now you want to bake your sandwich, and you want to follow the instructions on your clay package. I bake mine at 275 degrees for 15 minutes, and I put it on a piece of foil that I put on a glass pan for extra support. Once your sandwich is baked and cooled, you can add some glaze, and you want to add this to the whole sandwich except for the faces of the bread. And once the glaze is dried, you are done. I hope you all enjoy making your own polymer clay sandwich, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, everybody!